Hello YouTube, John Critchfield back with you here. Now today I will be showing you guys one of my average back workouts. Now just to clear things up because a lot of people have been asking me, it's going to say the exercise and then it's going to have the number and then it's going to have the reps. Okay, so exercise and it's going to have just a, a blank number probably between three to five, somewhere in between that range. And then the next thing is probably going to be, let's just say, 10 to 15. So it's the exercise and the next number, sets how many sets you're going to perform, and then the next number is the repetition, so like, let's just say 10 to 15. See you guys in the workout. Boom! Now, here we go! The first exercise today is just a warm-up of pull-ups. You're just going to do one set of 10 reps overhand with a moderate grip. Now this next exercise is rack pulls and I do the rack pulls pretty much a little bit above my knee. I know it doesn't look like much with the range of motion but when you're doing these rack pulls you want to go down slow and then you want to go up and when you go to the top you really want to contract your back. Now the reason why I'm not going lo any lower is because Whenever I did deadlifts, I really just had a hard part with just that five inches right there. Just the top of the knee to the lockout. So that's really where I worked. And I just go all the way down to the bottom. And then when I go up, I just squeeze the living shit out of my back to make some sweet back gains. And so then when I start deadlifting, it won't be that hard for me. Now this next exercise is T-bar rows. Incline T-bar rows. And the first clip is going to be the overhand on the top part of it. So then you're really just working the upper back and the trap area. And then the second clip is going to be more of the lats. And the way I do this is I lean back a little bit and I have my chest off of the pad. So that I can get a much deeper contraction. And also when I have my chest too far, it's really hard for me to breathe. Now this next exercise is high cable T-bar rows. This is going to target mostly the upper back. And when you do these, you want to have both feet forward and you want to lean back a little bit. And then have your hands over it and then do a twisting motion and then hold for a two count. And then as you twist back, go really slow so you can make some sweet love. love. Now this next exercise is dumbbell rows, and when you do these dumbbell rows, make sure you have your elbow go pretty decently far back, so then you can target your back in a really good position. And make sure when you're doing these, you don't swing too much, and just really just contract it. Now this next exercise is high rows, the hammer strength machine. Now I'm leaning back a little bit too much to be honest with you, but you want to get a good lean back and then pull really far and just really contract your back in a nice way. This one is really going to hit it differently if you have your feet in the middle. Now this is our last back exercise. This is our finisher for the day. This is, I call it the puss lat pull down. And this is just a pretty much just a lat pull down machine because all the lat pull downs are being taken. You could also just do lat pull downs. And when you do this, you're going to want to actually face the opposite way and just go down real slow. I hope everybody enjoyed that back workout. Now, I'm going to be telling everyone about my future plans. My future plans are I'm going to be slowly converting into powerlifting for the time being, at least for the next eight months, and see how much I enjoy it. I did powerlifting back when I was 15 and 16, and I loved it, but then I converted into bodybuilding. But now, here comes the power building. Or I can call it power bodybuilding. I don't know. But powerlifting. Okay. And for me and my program, I actually have a power arm day. And for the power arm day, you do really heavy close grip bench press and really heavy barbell curls. And also, I'll be having a created playlist. Like, sort of the next episode after this one, this isn't going to be in the powerlifting. It's going to be like a, an arm workout, let's just say. And then it's going to be powerlifting. And then it's going to have episode one. And then I'm going to try and at least make 50 episodes for powerlifting. And also, I want to know what kind of videos you guys want to see, blogs or workouts or me just talking or eating. Comment below. So please, guys, if you liked the video, remember to like, comment, 
share, and subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, you're gonna make me cry. Ooh. But just remember, guys, I make these videos to please your needs.